Twelve-year-old Desi Pineda will tell you what happened to her seems like a miracle. And you're feeling how? Feeling great. I feel like I could do anything. Back when she was just nine, feeling weak and dizzy, she was taken to a hospital on Long Island where doctors gave her a diagnosis she barely understood, leukemia. So I'm like, am I going to die? Am I going to live? Am, am I going to be able to do the stuff I did before? 98% of children with this form of cancer respond well to chemotherapy, so her doctors started there. But after four brutal rounds, Ezzy's cancer was getting worse. It was very scary. And a natural reaction is to think, why me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was like, what did I do bad so that God could give me this punishment? Desperate and out of options, Ezzy had one last chance. She was enrolled in a clinical trial at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in Manhattan for an experimental treatment called CAR-T. How's everything? Good. How are you feeling today? Good. Everything After well? six weeks, Dr. Kevin Curran, the pediatric oncologist who treats Ezzy, couldn't find a single leukemia cell. Okay. Not one. And what did you think? I, th I thought this worked. In a patient who basically 10 years ago would have been told there's nothing we can do. Yes. Ezzy is healthy, just a little puffy from steroids, because of a promising new frontier in the war on cancer, immunotherapy, using a patient's own immune system to find and kill cancer cells. One of the biggest challenges in fighting cancer has been that cancer cells find ways of becoming invisible to the body's defenses, and the immune system can't kill what it can't see. So doctors, in essence, taught Ezzy's immune system to see. They took billions of her white blood cells, cells that normally are good at destroying invaders like bacteria and viruses, but bad at fighting cancer, and turned them into cancer killers. We can take those cells out of the body, genetically modify them, teach them how to fight cancer, and then infuse them back into the patient. It's like they're bloodhounds and you give them the scent of the cancer? Exactly. And then you say, go. Traditional therapies like chemo and radiation often damage healthy tissue along with cancer cells. The hope is immunotherapy will be more targeted and better at sparing normal tissue. But there have been serious side effects, even death. And once we knew it could work, we've been working round the clock. Dr. Steven Rosenberg has been a pioneer in the field of immunotherapy at the National Cancer Institute for more than four decades. In 1984, he was the first doctor to cure a dying patient using her own immune system. So these are immune cells that we would... But he'll have. also be the first to tell you that, all these years later, immunotherapy is still in its infancy. We've gotten to the point now where I think we understand why the patients who are successfully treated experience tumor regression. And based on that knowledge, I think we're going to see dramatic progress uh, in, the, in the next few years to come. But most patients don't have years to wait. Lungs are somewhat compromised. Yeah. Like 29-year-old Barack Govensoiler, who has a sarcoma, a cancer in the connective tissue near his spine that has spread to his lungs. Now, normal lung would be black. These are all abnormal tumors, every one of these. He has many hundreds of different tumors that are in his lung. Barack has already been through two rounds of chemotherapy and multiple surgeries. He came to us, as do all of our patients, having exhausted what modern medicine can offer. And our goal is not to practice today's medicine, but to create the medicine of tomorrow. And that, Rosenberg believes, would be immunotherapy. Just as was done with Ezzy, Barack's white blood cells were taught in the lab to recognize his specific cancer type. A month later, Barack gets back his juiced up cells, 90 billion of them put into battle. You can just imagine those cells chewing up the tumor when they go in there. Definitely feeling very hopeful. I mean, you draw the lottery and to actually be part of this trial is just an incredible opportunity in itself. Now he's waiting to see if those cells did their job. Up until now, the highly personalized treatment that patients like Barack and Ezzy received has only been available in clinical trials. But by the end of the year, a very similar treatment will most likely be approved by the FDA. And another type of immunotherapy is already available in hospitals across the country, 
Drugs called checkpoint inhibitors are being used to fight certain types of cancers of the kidney, bladder, lungs, and more, with especially positive results for melanoma. Good. While effective treatment for widespread or metastatic cancer remains elusive, doctors are hopeful they're at least on the right path. Right now in the spectrum of cancer treatment, what percentage can be addressed by immunotherapy? But if you look at all cancer patients, perhaps 10% can be helped by immunotherapy today, but it's getting better every day. Five weeks after his cell transfusion, Barack returned to the National Cancer Institute for a first checkup. I just have that comfort in terms of, like, I've done everything I can. Barack, good to see you. <laughs> just hoping that we get results that we're seeking in this. I see you again. So we've gone over the x-rays very carefully. We compared them to the x-rays <clears throat> that you had before we started the treatment, and there was, as you know, rapid growth of the tumor. Now, we want to see these tumors go away, but sometimes that takes time. Sadly, time ran out in Barack's fight against the cancer. He died two months later. For now, patients like Ezi Pineda remain the exception. But doctors Rosenberg and Curran are hopeful and continue to explore the boundaries of this new frontier, one previously incurable patient at a time. So you're lying in bed at night. What's going through your head? That the good thing is that I'm still alive, that I could live a normal life again, that I'll be all better and probably more stronger than I have been before. <laughs> 